name's Zoe, and this is... Grampy Bob, and we live in Ontario, Canada. We watch TJV every day. Trucker Josh, thumbs up. Good morning, everybody. Friday morning for me. Arrived here at the customer. I'm just gonna unload these mobile whatever they are from Berlin, Wisconsin. We're up here in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Just being guided into the yard here to the back. I was able to sleep pretty much right on their driveway, so that was great. So I just woke up as they were coming into work and this guy told me to come on in and there's a bunch of other things like what I have so I guess we're gonna get unloaded here there's a bunch of other trucks that were uh, loading in Berlin coming here as well so I'm glad I got here before all of them or maybe I got here after them I don't know. how'd they get here before me that that'd be impossible unless they're driving team if they're driving team then I'd understand but yeah welcome to a new day we're gonna unload this here we're gonna run up north of Fort McMurray grab some uh, grab some lumber and then head home we'll be home tomorrow I'm guessing he wants me right around here right in the middle let's see he's gonna get out of his tractor there and he's gonna tell me Want to come forward a little bit over here Over there okay I'll lift them off you with that okay sounds good Well, that took about an hour, which is pretty good considering how much equipment was on my trailer and all of the straps I used to tie it down. So we're empty. I've got my tarps at the back here. I'm going to go grab a coffee and head up. It's about 30 kilometers or 20 miles up north of Fort McMurray where we're going to pick up this lumber. Well, there was no parking for us here last night. Let's see if there's parking for us now. I just want a coffee. Oh yeah, lots of room for us now. Back at the petrol pass here. We'll find ourselves a park parking spot. One of my headlights is burnt out. I gotta replace it. I have a replacement with me. It's one nice thing about Volvo. You know I've been speaking a lot of negative about Volvo lately. Let's talk something positive. A positive thing about Volvo is that uh, they tell you when you have a light out. So it'll tell you when they're, so they're not driving around with a burnt out headlight without knowing it. You know, you can get a ticket for that. Depends on how ambitious the officer is, right? There's a parking spot here. Can I park here? I'm gonna park here. I think these are parking spots. I'm going for it. I'm just gonna send it. Straighten myself out because I park straight, unlike a lot of you people. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there who park very crooked. All right. All right so we're on our way up north of Fort McMurray now. We're going to pick up that lumber and uh, head home. We're going to be home for a while again, so there's some home time videos coming up, so get ready for those. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do this week. Got a very busy week. Uh, this truck's going in for a full service. 
Uh, I'm getting a new steer tire. I gotta buy a new, go and buy a new steer tire, get that installed, mounted, and everything. Uh, we're installing our back door on our house, so I've got to go into Winnipeg, pick up the door, bring it home, and then next Saturday, uh, it, well, next weekend is our Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. Same thing as the U.S. Thanksgiving is exactly the same here as it is in the U.S., except we do ours in October. So uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend, and on the Saturday, uh, both dads are coming over. My dad and my father-in-law are coming over to help install that back door. So we got to cut a hole in the back of our house, build a door frame and a header, install the door, insulate it and finish it off, hopefully all on Saturday. <laughs> they know what they're doing. I don't. So I'm. this is going to be a learning experience for me. So the next time I need to blow a hole in the side of my house, I'm going to be able to do it myself. And uh, I'm going to know what I'm know what I'm doing for the most part. But for this time, they're going to come. Uh, the more people there, the better. We want to get this done in one day. We'll start early Saturday morning and hopefully finish by supper. If not, we may have to finish it up on Sunday afternoon. But hopefully we can at least get it mounted and installed so that we can just do the finishing touches. I can just do that myself. So we'll have a back door. That'll be nice. What else are we doing this week? All kinds of things. All kinds. Oh yeah, we're going to Cirque du Soleil, Britt and I. We're going on Friday. That'll be fun. I'll vlog that, why not? That'll be interesting, something different from the regular. Uh, it's, it's our honeymoon date. Not our honeymoon date, our anniversary date. Second wedding anniversary. We're going to go out and celebrate and then go see Cirque du Soleil. And, uh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we're going to have to run hard after this week because after Thanksgiving we're on the road again. And uh, I'll be gone the rest of the month because we got to... Well, maybe not the rest of the month. I'll be, I'll be running hard the rest of the month. I'll be home in between. But... Am I going slow or are you going fast? I'm going slow, okay. Step on it, trucker Josh. Driving like an old lady, trucker Josh. My bad, I was busy talking to these fine people. I'm supposed to follow that guy. Here we go. They had two big dogs in their office there. I love it when people do that. It makes me so happy. Nothing makes me more happy than going into a shipping office and having a, a big friendly dog greeting me. Right, Diesel? Diesel gets a little jealous, but I still love you, Diesel. You're still number one, man. You're still number one, but... Okay, where does this guy want me? Just right in the middle here, I'm guessing. He's not telling me not to go here, so I'm gonna go right here until he tells me to stop. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Looking at it right there. Okay. All right. There he goes. Grabbing my lumber. What do you think of that, Diesel? He's super fast, man. That's super cool, man. I know, right? I wish I could drive one of those. Diesel, you would make a great shipper loader person. You would make a great, what do you call these guys? Lift driver? Loader driver? What would his official title be? Uh, front end loader driver. I would like to do that. That would be a lot of fun driving one of those around all day, every day. He could be home every night too. Look at him go, look at him go. Oh, well, there's some big ones. Yeah, some big ones. Look at that. Wait for it, wait for it. Here, I'll show you in the mirror here. Wait for the touchdown. We'll always feel it. Oh, uh, you won't feel it, but just imagine. And, oh, 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 he was gentle. Surprisingly gentle, wow. Some of them, they just like drop it on your deck, just boom. I wanna direct your attention to that big old dually off to the right over there. Nothing says Alberta more than that right there. <laughs> That's not even the biggest one you'll see. And we're back in Lloydminster. Lloydminster, we're gonna grab some fuel here and uh, this will be the last time we fuel before we get back to Winnipeg. 
That's if we, for some reason, burn an insane amount of fuel. We are pretty heavy, so we will burn a lot of fuel, but hopefully not that much. Fuel her up and take a short break. Find a coffee somewhere. I'll probably have to go over to Husky for that. And we'll be on our way. Hi, my name's Zoe, and this is... Grampy Bob, and we live in Ontario, Canada. We watch TJV every day. Trucker Josh, thumbs up.